Yo, here we go. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're on our way to Bitcoin Day, Omaha. So we're flying out here in a few minutes. Omaha, if you don't know, they have a nice sign in the airport that says Silicon Prairie because there's actually a lot of tech companies that are like moving to Omaha and doing that stuff there. And Nebraska and South Dakota have actually always been a financial hub. And so I love that they're having a one day Bitcoin conference. And I love that we're, uh, you know, serving that region with great Bitcoin education. So we're leading two sessions. Session number one is about Bitcoin payments and building a circular economy in your area. And then number two is a little bit closer tied to Choice App, and that's Bitcoin and your personal finances. And so in that one, we're going to be covering just kind of different stacks of Bitcoin for different goals and the tools that go along with those things. And so I have this thing that I say where budgeting is hard. Budgeting while married or in a relationship is harder. Budgeting while married or in a relationship using two currencies is the hardest. And so I've got this little Excel sheet that I'm excited to share with everyone about that just kind of helps you look at, visualize your finances in both USD and Bitcoin. So if you're still with us, we're flying out in a few minutes, hit the like button and we'll see you in Omaha. This was not planned, but the infamous Stephen Cole was on the plane. So welcome to Omaha Airport. All right, we're just taking a quick trip around the hotel. We really wanted to find some cornfields. All right, we're striking out. I don't know if there's any corn by this hotel. Okay, so no corn, but we wanted to tell you about the brand new Bitcoin Adams shoes. Brand new out from Pomp and Adams, and I am pretty sure the majority of the profits are going to the Human Rights Foundation Bitcoin Development Fund. So pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they're live on their site right now, so just search Bitcoin Adams shoes and they'll come up for pre-order on your end. Bummer about the corn field though. What's up, man? Bro, all right, Alex from Tucson. We're gonna run his Twitter. Why are you in Omaha? I'm gonna be covering Bitcoin and how it changes consumer behavior. We're working on some self-sustainability, building circular economies in Tucson. You know, Phoenix is like about ready to start up a citadel of their own. And uh, Sierra Vista, Arizona just launched recently. You no, know, the whole Southwest region is like very exciting. And I like the way that Southern California and Arizona are like boring the lines, like crossing over and that's good. And we've got Vegas and NorCal um, coming in too. Yeah, and you have a podcast. Got two podcasts. Yep. Toxic Airwaves and Tucson Bitcoin. To like make it less confusing and people, I think understanding that there's like Bitcoin and then there's like cryptocurrency and don't try to like learn all of that at the same time. All right, made to the venue, let's go in. This was me before I became a Bitcoiner, okay? This is me after I became a Bitcoiner. A classic, how it started, how it's going. The official name of the session is uh, Bitcoin Payments, but the reason why I'm kind of like starting at the meetup level is because actually getting Bitcoin onto your point of sale system, that's actually the easy part. Like doing all the social work in the social area before that is the hard part. We just wrapped up the uh, payments uh, section that I did over there and we had um, small businesses interested in taking Bitcoin and we had a couple of payment processor guys that were interested in how to talk to their clients about implementing it. And so major kudos to Bitcoin Day for like bringing in agriculture people and bringing in payments people. Um, that's honestly like what it's all about. It was fun, man. I'm looking forward to seeing more entrepreneurs in the different industries that have been broken by corrupted incentives and seeing them integrate how Bitcoin fixes that way of humanity. 100%, I say this a lot too. Um, if you're out there, like you don't, don't join the Bitcoin industry bring Bitcoin to your industry. The topic for this session is Bitcoin and personal finances. This is talking about moving from, you know, having USD as your mental unit of account to having BTC as your mental unit of account. A big trend and a movement that's happening right now is like moving your retirement accounts in Bitcoin. And so it's like once you've progressed through steps one and two and you're just looking for every possible way to keep getting long Bitcoin, long Bitcoin, like there's apps and tools that are popping up that allow you to do that. All right, signing off from Omaha with beers and million sacks. <laughs>